Our, our next speaker is a Frenchman, um, Laurent Deleuze, and he's going to talk to us on bovine leptospirosis, genotyping and serological diagnosis of bovine abortion cases associated with jaundice in the fetus. Uh, Dr. Deleuze, yes. thank you very much. Hello, and uh, thank you for the introduction. Um, I am presenting to you results of uh, studies carried out um, on uh, icteric cases on abortion in association with uh, jaundice and bovine leptospirosis. First, uh, and uh, to give you some uh, background uh, uh, about the studies, I will show you where is uh, Belgium, this a small but very interesting country. Here is uh, Belgium, and uh, you can see that this small country has a linguistic border. Uh, we cut the territory in uh, two relative equal regions. Then uh, we had the point of view of my uh, colleague from uh, DGZ, and uh, yet then, uh, we have my point of view of Wallonia. Then uh, northern uh, Belgium and southern Belgium, we don't have the same cattle production. Then in Flanders, uh, it is more uh, uh, dairy cattle, and in uh, Wallonia, uh, we have more um, beef cattle. In southern Belgium, um, in I which work, then we have one million cattle and uh, 10,000 almost uh, herd cattle. There are two different regional associations in Belgium, who control animal diseases, than in uh, northern Belgium, DGZ, and in uh, southern Belgium, uh, Arsia. And Arsia is a non-profit organization, led by farmers, and financed, uh, financed uh, mostly um, by the farmers they them themselves. And uh, we have three operational uh, sections, animal identification, laboratory, and uh, animal health improvement, in which I work. In uh, this context, uh, then um, in 1978, uh, uh, it exists a royal decree for the control of brucellosis. Um, 25 years later, uh, we become the officially free uh, brucellosis status, and uh, six years later, we. Oops, uh, the protocol uh, change uh, for the surveillance of the brucellosis. And a passive surveillance replace the previous uh, method, and uh, the new method is based on the reporting of bovine abortion. To reach the goal of the surveillance, uh, southern part of Belgium had to obtain a minimum of 4,000 aborted fetuses each year to reach the same detection sensitivity of the previous method. And we can see then uh, in uh, 2012, uh, the goal is reached. To improve this reporting rate of uh, abortion, we used a win-win strategy. We offer a collection of aborted fetus on farm for free and to a standardized analysis panel, including a wide range of abortive for free too. And uh, authorities becomes, um, receive material and information to detect brucellosis. Here uh, you can see the analysis panel that we, per we perform systematically. We used uh, placenta, uh, fetuses, maternal serum, serum and bulk tank milk. Uh, if it's available in uh, dairy cattle. Uh, thanks to this panel, 30% of the abortion are solved. Uh, if we take, um, if we count the um, opportunistic bacteria, we reach 60%, but uh, we don't count this uh, opportunistic bacteria uh, for the etiologic diagnosis. In July 2014, um, we observed a new abortion syndrome with a significant increase of the number of abortion, unusual cases of icteric fetuses with splenomegaly, 
and uh, increased proportion of uh, unfound etiology. Then you can see here the, the splenomegaly, here, and here the characteristic jaundice. And here, the, with the red line, that's the weekly um, prevalence of the, uh, the rate of icteric fetuses, and you can see then we reach a peak in uh, October 2014 with 15% uh, of icteric fetuses. And here in the histogram, you can see with the orange plot the increasing of the number of abortion uh, regarding to in comparison to uh, 2013. And these icteric cases are associated with a strong antibodies response um, against two main leptospira serovar. We have carried out uh, serological analysis in two different groups uh, with or without signs of uh, this syndrome, and the conclusion was very clear. A strong link exists between the leptospiral infection and icteric cases, and you can see the odd ratio of uh, 48. And the commonly used leptospira argio ELISA test uh, did not detect those cases. This is very specific for argio. To confirm and to better understand uh, this uh, syndrome, we used our database information and our samples. That is to say, 18,000 historical abortions cases since 2009, and from more um, than 5,000 hertz. For each case, the autopsy report is registered in uh, our laboratory information system. Then the samples, maternal serum and organ spool, are stored in uh, a freezer um, under minus 20 degrees. Here, in this map, it is possible to see each cattle herd in which at least one icteric fetuses are detected for, from uh, 2009 to 2014. The um, grey dots are the historical cases uh, of icteric fetuses, and the red dots are the uh, cases, uh, the entire cases from uh, 2014. And the, oops, sorry. the lozenge and the star are the two uh, genotyped uh, strain of leptospira. Uh, then um, we can see that later. And in total, we have carried out three different studies a retrospective serology, a prospective serology, and uh, RT PCR and genotyping. For the first study, the retrospective serology, we want to assess the presence of specific serogroups on historical serum in icteric cases. The 42 sera were analyzed uh, with a microagglutination test containing a wide um, panel of serogroups than the 14 most common serogroup and sera are considered as positive when titer are higher or equal than uh, to 160. In total, uh, we observed um, 20, 29 uh, positive uh, model for, with a minimum of one serovar. The most frequent serogroups are Gripotifosa and Australis, and an interesting detail are that on the nine first sample, and from 2009 and 2013, uh, only one is positive for Australis and uh, zero for Gripotifosa. That suggests that these two serogroups are uh, rare in icteric cases before our emergent syndrome. The the prospective serology was carried out uh, to identify specific uh, seroconversion. Oops, sorry. Ah, yes. Uh, to confirm and um, oops. 
where I am. Sorry, sorry. Yes, uh, here. With uh, the second study, it is a prospective uh, serology with uh, an objective is to assess and to identify a specific seroconversion. Then uh, for this study, uh, we uh, have uh, 20 sera from mother with uh, etheric fetus uh, and uh, this uh, 20 uh, sera, it is that was possible to uh, take a second uh, serology with an average uh, interval of 60 days. The method was the same as the previous one, uh, then this is the microscopic agglutination test. And here is the results, then uh, we can see then uh, 20 uh, serology, uh, the, the 20 uh, serology was, uh, were positive uh, at the first time. Um, and uh, on 20 dams, the serology allows to alight uh, 12 uh, sero inversion, 5 uh, status quo, and uh, 3 only case of sero conversion. And uh, all the case with sero conversion occur with Australis. If we don't perform the second serology, uh, it is a risk uh, to have a false negative results and uh, to lost information about the real responsible serial group. Indeed, an important cross-reaction can occur with numerous co-agglutinin for serial serial groups, and the important rate of uh, serial inversion can be explained by the fact that leptospiral abortion are not acute. And with the third study about PCR and genotyping, we would like to assess the specific circulating genotype than on uh, 26 pool of uh, organs were available in the historical collection between 2011 and 2014, and we used a PCR who can detect all pathogenic strain of uh, Leptospira, then this is the patox strain. And for the genotyping, uh, MLST was performed on five organs pool with PCR positive results. Then here's the results. Then we observed uh, 21 uh, PCR positive uh, out of uh, 26 cases. And uh, among the 21 PCR positive cases, uh, only five maternal serum were seronegative for, uh, with all this, the, the, the serum group. And uh, among the five PCR negative fetuses, positive mat uh, observed in four maternal sera, and only one sample was PCR and MAT positive, uh, negative. And the very um, interesting result, then for the first time on abortion samples, uh, the genotyping allows to highlight two different pathogenic strains of Leptospira, then Leptospira Kirchneri, which correspond to the serogroup Gripotifosa, uh, in the Leptospira MLST database, and the second uh, is uh, Leptospira interrogant species and uh, corresponding to uh, Australis serial group. And to conclude, uh, we can s uh, say that uh, MLST analysis uh, allowed to highlight two new Leptospiral strain in uh, icteric fetuses. And it is very important for further investigation uh, for, for the epidemiology of the disease. MAT confirmed that uh, Leptospira, uh, Leptospira gripotifosa and Ostrarids are the most prevalent serial groups. These two pathogenic strains are associated with congenital jaundice, and uh, now we can say that uh, this new clinical science uh, can be adding to the clinical picture of bovine leptospirosis. And the diagnostic approach established by uh, Arcia seems to be an efficient method under field condition. And our data supports a naive population relative to Australis and Gripotifosa, hence the apparently faster effects and seroconverting titers. But the question of the origin is still open. 
And uh, as I said, St. Exupéry, regarding to the future, the goal is not to, to predict it, but to make it possible. I thank all my colleagues uh, from the Arsia um, and uh, the farmers and the vet who make it uh, this study uh, possible. And uh, I thank to um, the authorities, uh, Biosela Laboratory, uh, and especially the Professor Kojo for his uh, scientific support. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're just out of time, but um, I wonder why Dr. Deleuze looked at me strangely when I called him a Frenchman. Apologies. Yes, <laughs> but no um, if there's one question. Sorry, there's somebody here. Do you vaccinate uh, in that area against uh, Leptospira as a program? No, um, that's a good question. Then. Um, the problem is uh, the vaccination, uh, the only uh, vaccine it exists is um, against Leptospira argyo. And uh, it don't exist uh, against the two new, uh, the, the two uh, serial group. And um, the, 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 the farm is uh, one or five farm um, are uh, vaccinated, but um, it is, uh, not usual. We'll, we'll have to wrap it up there and, and we'll thank Dr. Luz again. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>